the 5 pod RS3 by Dylan. What a beast, guys. Hope you enjoy this video just as much as I did. Look what has arrived. Guys, look what we have here. So I didn't know what the model name was. So I spoke to Dylan. There's the owner. Thanks for coming, Dylan. I appreciate it. No um, what's your? Oh, there we go. Never mind. Black Snow RS3. It's a, what is it? A 2000 and 16. 2016 Audi RS3 8V V1. V1. And it's a built motor. As you can see, J piston. So we're just gonna go through the car so you can see how dirty it is. Dylan did say it was dirty. These are supposed to be white, I think. I left it dirty for you. There we go. <laughs> so we're obviously testing the cleaning products as well. So I'm glad he left the car dirty. And then obviously we're gonna wash the car and then uh, go for a drive and see what this thing can do. So Dylan, what do, what do you do exactly? Like, I saw on like, Instagram, it looks like you're almost in IT or yeah so like yeah uh, so i do a few things but my main job is more on, in terms of like software development okay uh the company called carriage commercial systems yeah. so we basically uh, develop the software according to what the customer's requirements are so i'm more in the back end to getting the the stuff implemented the way the customer wants it then i also do on the side with um my business partner lloyd the we have a company called Computer Sync. Um, is that Lloyd from Genesis? Minted Content. Ah, okay. Yeah, Lloyd Grant. Is um, it Minted Content? You know what I thought it was? <laughs> I probably do know. <laughs> I probably do know, but I don't want to say it. Yeah, I'm not going to say it either. I'm the one they call the bully. You can find me with the guy. To get these tips, and then I actually saw how big they were. I was like, hell no. Uh, they have to fit into a gap. <laughs> yeah, they're big, man. The biggest thing that everyone probably wants to know, and I'm sure it's not, is it daddy's money? Not at all. And um, I'm proud to say that like, this, when I own my own money to buy such a car like this for example yeah um you appreciate it so much more because if you're given something you expect it you're not you didn't work for it you don't understand the hard work that is that goes behind it to earn something and appreciate something that you got for yourself and yeah so i started from nothing i drove a an old little ford car you know the uh, uh, the little, the yeah. tortoise shaped ones yeah, yeah. yeah yeah i just got one of those to get not to a yellow one no, it was silver. It was silver. I put a body okay, kit cool. on it from Big Box nice. Auto. Nice. Um, I like it. I literally just got that to drive to to my first IT company. Okay. Um, and that was age what? Sorry. That was age. Oh wow. It was nineteen. Okay. Or eighteen. You bought your own car at nineteen. It was eighteen actually. You feel like. You feel like rain in the morning Giving me mixed emotions And it's too much sometimes Mix the potion Mix it up, girl, put it in motion Are you burning or dying? It's no compromising Make up your mind We're running out of time It's so hard to try But it feels me Time for a drive. Let's go. Your baby is nice and shiny, nice and clean. Uh, let's see what this five pod can do. Okay, let's go. Oh. Oh. 
Okay guys, so we've just wash, washed Dylan's uh, S3, or S3 sorry, uh, he's just warming it up and yeah, what a beast this thing is man. Uh, we'll just find out a little bit from Dylan what, uh, what's been done. Hey! So yeah. wh what's been done to uh, your beast Dylan, please uh, let us know if uh, you don't mind. Yeah sure, so basically it's hard to find something that's left stock on this car. <laughs> So, from intake, intercooler, to downpipe, to a full engine rebuild, fully forged pistons and rods, um, to every single nut and bolt has been replaced. The only thing that's still kept stuck on this car is the, basically the block. <laughs> um, everything else has been redone. So yeah, lowered it, dropped it, coilovers, uh, got Brixton aftermarket wheels on it. I've just got a few aesthetic features on the outside, uh, like a little some side skirts, the rear fin diffuser. I had a splitter, but that's somewhere on the highway. Uh, so <laughs> but yeah. in the front? In the front, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, well, this car's low. Well, that wasn't the problem, the speed was. Ah. Yeah. Do you have a pops and bang tune on you, or is it just natural kind no, of? No, so that's natural. I can turn it off, so in current I'm in dynamic mode, so. Okay, so and if I go to was that the quiet one? No, that's the loud one. Okay, then I can turn it off. Oh, that's nice. Oh, this thing sounds so good. Yeah. Luxa. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. This thing uh, hooks hard, eh? Dynamic. It hooks hard. Okay, so it hooked hard and it wasn't even in sport, guys. I ain't gonna lie, this car is giving me goosebumps already. It, from having the video that 7.5R, having the speed and everything and the pops and bangs tuned there, you definitely hear this engine's got a deeper grunt to it than that 2 litre. No, I can understand sure. why the guys love this motor. Yeah, that's a very, it's an unmatched sound. I just love it too much. It was uh, one of the biggest reasons I went for this car, was this engine. Lucky man. <laughs> Drive smoother than that golf. Really? Yeah. So guys, you can't see, but Dylan is changing uh, gears here on the shifter at the bottom. I just don't want you guys to have this kind of angle, so yes. he's shifting there. I can shift here as well. Shift here. Yeah. Well, you drive your car. That's what you want. <laughs> Those shifts are brutal, eh? Oof, it, it like you feel it's like it and it kicks you back. It kicks you really hard. So what's uh what's the best thing you love about your car? Sure. Honestly, what's like one thing that stands out? If there is one thing, I mean it's a beast. I, I wouldn't even know how to round it. You know, one. my favorite thing is just the, the appearance of it, just with being clean. I used to have the half wrap. Yeah. But I just love how the clean white with the black accents. I mean, even the rims, I wasn't a fan of them in this color at the moment, the gunmetal gray. Yeah. I liked it when they were black, so it was just black and white. And I just loved that look. Uh, but if, And just with it being dropped, I just think it has such a... Like, it just stands out. I can't explain, but that's like... Uh, sorry, that's my front number plate that I'll never have on. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know, just the overall appearance when you're looking at it from the front like you said yeah. it's just that wide start the presence I yes. just love it yeah okay I would personally say this damn motor okay, okay yeah if you're yeah, talking this is that, insane that's like man. the biggest uh, reason this I is, bought the car yeah so this is a beast motor so guys um Dylan was speaking off camera how he had an issue with cylinder 5, what was it? The cylinder rings? Uh, the ring lands fail. The ring lands fail. So that's a common problem on these 5 pods and uh, when that failed he decided, you know what, uh, let's my forge the motor and uh, that is, would you say it's bulletproof now or is it? I mean, it's pretty pr much. probably very close to being bulletproof now. Okay. I mean, I'm sure if, if you push any engine more than it should you'll always be able to break something yeah but you know for for maltunes i think it's nowhere near its limit at the moment i think i can still because obviously
obviously I'm only in a hybrid turbo now. Yeah. I want to do a big turbo, still that must do the water meth. And there's a lot I need to still do before I'm even close to reaching the limit of the of what this motor can handle. So guys, um this is only built motor and a hybrid. I don't want to know what it's gonna do with water meth and a big turbo. It's gonna be like an animal waking up. It's gonna be you could probably like call it Thanos or something. I understand now why they call these. There's that uh, I think it's a TTRS. That's Thanos. I can understand why uh, these, these cars are quick, about, man. Yeah. These car, this car is quick. Probably one of the quickest cars I've been in, to be honest, so far. So while we're just chilling, talking, um, how's uh, the VW drivers compared to the Audi drivers? Is the Audi drivers a bit better than us, or <laughs> should you get the odd case of uh, VW blood coming through? Uh, you know what? I don't, I honestly, you seem quite chilled. That's what yeah, I'm saying. I don't, I don't look at it that way, to be honest. I, I, if you drive your VW, that's amazing. I'm Lord be with you. If you, if, you, if, you have, if you have an Audi, I'll probably make a few more plans with you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, there's no, to me, there's no difference. If you prefer your Golf R's or anything, that's awesome because they're beautiful cars as well. Um, but five cylinders only offered in this, so I had to go for Audi. There you go. Smooth gear changes, you can't feel them. Yeah, oh, that's nice. So now it's just in comfort mode. I don't know why RS3 has comfort mode, but there you go. If you just want to cruise. Probably the first time I've gone into comfort mode in like a year, just to show you. <laughs> now I was saying off camera that uh, Andes Golf was a whole lot smoother. This uh, Audi in sport, the shifts are very brutal. So. A stop I gotta go change my pants <laughs> dude look here can you see this that thing yeah I can't I'm speechless that thing hooks so hard it's like someone pulling an elastic band back and just like releasing it that's really great. Bluxum. It feels like I need to go write an exam or something. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> that's I, I, look, I, I don't know how it feels to you, but that's insane fast, man. See, look, you obviously acclimatized to it, but yeah, this is ridiculous. I haven't felt a launch like that. That is... Yeah, no. The best way to describe it, guys, was like, imagine pulling an elastic band back like a slingshot and just letting it go this thing like anchors and it just can do it justice i hope you guys can get that because the whole camera shakes i, I actually pinned my head back to the headrest on the launch because <laughs> i didn't know what to expect yeah no it's quite hectic i won't lie but you get a lot of attention in this car <laughs> RS3 guys, this is the, the four rings. Let's listen here. <laughs> this is brutal, man. This is brutal. What's it? What's it? I am recording. You're gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> guys, I love Albert and the guys are you're so friendly. The people in South. I'm sorry guys, I get so excited, this is... Yeah, yeah. can you show your rolling launch pick? Okay, cool. Yo! Uh, 
Oh my word. Guys, I, I'm speechless. Like, Dylan, I got goosebumps. I'm speechless. That, that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to put my camera and my glasses on so it doesn't look like I'm crying. But this, guys, RS3, I'm going to bow down. This is a beast car. I'm honestly speechless. Just well done on the build. Dude, Thanks, man. I'm just going to keep quiet and you guys just listen to this beautiful five part. It is beautiful. This you would never have to tell your girlfriend you're home. She would know from like five blocks away. Let me tell you that. <laughs> yeah, go for it. Anything. 